This is the location, I think, close to where the knife used to be. 81... Almost there. 83, I think we just need one more, and I think that's a multiple of six. And I do see another flower off in the distance. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice little camera angle there. The bathtub and the shopping cart. There's a lot of items uh, clustered together in this uh, particular iteration of the forest. Alright, come on, flowers. Oh, no. Okay, it's not going to tell us offhand where that last item is. Which means we have to rely on the girl in white. I guess, though, there's no harm in uh, just going to visit the wolf's place, because we don't necessarily have to interact with the wolf once we get there, just as previous times. So maybe I'm remembering wrong and the last item is here, we'll see. You can see that someone's playing at the piano. Someone in dark clothes with white hair. Art is where the nobility of humanity is expressed. I could not live in a world without it. So another key statement to keep in mind for when we get to Grandmother's house. Whoa, <laughs> there went the wolf right in front of our field of view. Um, there's been some debate on the uh, forums as to uh, whether this particular wolf is male or female. Uh, to me, it looks like a uh, uh, female, but uh, I could be wrong. That's just my take on it. Oh, there's the kabuki-ish mask. Ah, okay. So I was right. You can get the mask here, but you need to be Scarlet. So I wasn't crazy way back in Robin's chapter. Everyone hides their true face. That's probably for the best. That's another key statement for Scarlet. Hiding your true face. Who you really are. So there we go. The uh, mask is the last item. We now have a full set. And there's the wolf just chilling out there. Actually, let's go ahead and sit on the bench and see if Scarlet says anything about it. Men can be such monsters. It's simply disgusting. Whatever happened to elegance and sophistication? Hmm. That's uh, a rather broad statement there, but uh, apparently Scarlet has some issues with men. Um, but yeah, you can get a pretty decent look at the wolf at this particular vantage point. And I still say that looks like a woman. If it's a man, it's a very, very uh, thin, live man. Live uh, man, in that case. You notice that he has a uh, well, he or she, <laughs> whatever, has a green, uh, or two actually, you can see there, green um, uh, rings around his uh, sleeves. So keep that in mind, because that's actually another part of the grandmother's house. 
A serenade in the woods. Someone is playing my song. Long, slim fingers gently caressing the keys of me. So, long, slim fingers. Another image that will come as we go here. So, I think we're ready. So let's interact with the wolf. And to do that, we must start playing. Notice the sky turns green. And that was the ravaging of Scarlet. Now I want to make um, a correction in this video regarding the long walk here. At first um, I, has, I had convinced myself that you have to sit through it. But actually, uh, well, I believe once you get to this point where she just starts walking automatically, if you hit the escape key, you will see that you can actually skip. Um, so I, uh, I should apologize to the game developers, because I kept complaining about the fact that you had to sit here and uh, watch the girl uh, walk all the way here, and there was nothing you could do about it. But actually, that's not true. You can skip it if you want. So I take that back. So we'll see what uh, awaits Scarlet in Grandmother's house. things are very different uh, this time around, even in the uh, common areas. Everything is covered with uh, sterile plastic, even the doors. Um, all the ornamentation is gone. Um, you can see all the furniture has been taken away. And there's a green hue everywhere, which of course is represented by the colors that the wolf is wearing. plastic over the railings, and perfectly empty and perfectly clean jars arranged in an exact pattern. There's no, no chaos or disorder can be found anywhere here. See a hallway that suddenly becomes piles and piles of books. I also uh, should note that you can look around. You have some little freedom of movement to kind of glance to the left and right. I forgot to mention that earlier. See there are the bookshelves that all the uh, books, I guess, belong to. Looks like it would be quite a job bringing order to this chaos. Here's the music room. You can see instruments, including the piano. And see, she starts to float up. 
Like, the music is what upli uplifts her. But just as soon, she drops back to Earth. Her hallway is uh, bathroom tile. Again, very sterile, unadorned. And we get to Scarlet's bedroom. Mist with spotlights. The plastic curtain rises to show a bed that is also covered in plastic. End of chapter 6. Items collected 1 out of 4. Special rooms unlocked 3 out of 3. Distance traveled 955 meters. Wolf encountered? Yes. Success. Rank B. You have found the ruined theater. So this ends Scarlet's chapter. Um, in terms of what happened in the narrative, um, I actually find it a bit tricky to interpret this as a, even in a narrative way, as a kind of death. Um, it's not obvious, or, or I should say, it's not as clear that if Scarlet died in the narrative version of the story, how did she die? Um, I've heard um, ideas such as, well, maybe the um, wolf slashed her with its long claw-like fingernails. I've heard people say, well, maybe she was uh, strangled by piano wire. Um, but none of that is kind of, in my opinion, is kind of suggested in the uh, flashes that we see at the very end. Um, what I saw is more like Scarlet being hung like a puppet. So, if I was to interpret this from a narrative point of view, I would say that Scarlet went into the woods, and she heard the sound of music. And Scarlet, being a lover of music, and also because of her responsibility, she doesn't get a chance to play that much to fulfill her dream of being a musician. Uh, so she's lured to the abandoned theater, or ruined theater, I should say and finds the wolf, uh, and the wolf offers her uh, music lessons, a chance to play. And I would guess that the wolf offered her basically the opportunity to leave everything behind, all of the, her hated responsibilities that had been pushed on her, and just become a musician and that over time the wolf came to basically dominate her like a puppet master so that um, she had no will of her own anymore as much as she didn't think that she had a will beforehand being that everyone kept expecting things of her and she was convinced that if she could only play music it would set her free but the way that she went about it with this wolf was probably not not the way to freedom that she was hoping for, and now she's just a puppet on strings. From an analytical point of view, um, Scarlet is the response to responsibility when it's, uh, sometimes when it's thrust upon people. They come to resent it. Um, and after years of having to take care of all of her younger sisters, and basically denying herself her dream, um, you know, in, in some ways she wasn't responsible because, uh, for the fact that she couldn't play music because, you know, she was being diligent in her time and doing what people expected of her and she was there when her younger sisters needed her. But at the same time, she developed a kind of martyr complex. She thought that that she was doomed to never, ever take up music, ever. 
and she was doomed to live a life of always keeping things ordered, always keeping things clean. Um, and in the end, she just realized that she couldn't live without art. Um, that kind of urge to to be creative, and if you know, as as a person whose hobbies are uh, dependent on creativity myself, I can I can kind of put myself somewhat in her headspace. You know, what if I couldn't write? Um, you know, what would happen to me? Uh, what would happen to my psyche if I couldn't do the kind of things I loved? So, uh, as far as growing up, I would hope that Scarlet learned that she shouldn't just completely deny herself what she loves, even when she does have responsibilities, there has to be balance involved. Because if you, if you embrace responsibility at the expense of completely denying your passions, then in the end it'll just tear you up inside until either you succumb to despair or you do perhaps what Scarlet did and just run away from everything. Just abandon responsibility altogether because it's, it's just kind of cracked. psyche in that way. But in any case, those are my thoughts on Scarlet, the final sister. And with chapter 6 finished, we will now move on to the epilogue.